Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about binomial nomenclature. As the name suggests, it is a way of naming plants with two terminologies. And by refers to two, nomial refers to name in Greek origin. Definition of binomial nomenclature is the system of nomenclature in which two terms are used to denote a species of living organism. In our case, it will be a plant. Here, the first one indicates the genus name and the second one indicates specific epithet. Let us take an example for this. So it's a very familiar example, Mangifera indica, where we have two parts, Mangifera and indica. And here we can note down that Mangifera is the genus name or genetic epithet or generic name, whereas indica refers to specific epithet. Together it constitutes the name of the species that is Mangifera indica. Who started this? Why it started? So this particular aspect way back to the 17th century where the first person we say that it is the Carlos Linnaeus is the father of taxonomy who started the naming of the plants as binomial names in 1753. He used that in his book called Species Plantarum where he described all the plants with binomial nomenclature for the first time. But it is not exactly first time where the usage of binomial nomenclatures were there and a question may also arise that what was before that how was a plant named all those things and usually plants were named very descriptively and that uh, type of naming was called as polynomial or vernacular names at this point of time we call them as like that and naming of plants were not systematic it was very much depending on the locality region language usage all those things but bringing a common system credit goes to Carlos Linnaeus without any doubt so let us understand the different aspects of the binomial nomenclature that is the what is the nature of generic name that is the first part of the binomial nomenclature so the very important aspect what we have to remember is always by generic name will be a noun so that's why whenever we write the plant name we start with the capital letter because it is a rule in grammar that we have to start any nouns with the capital letters right so this is how and it may indicate, it may need not always, it may indicate any colors, any names or any adjectives for that matter. And sometimes, the, for example, Bohemia is a very uh, common genus in and around us and it is named because of the Bohin brothers. So since they were brothers and Bohemia also has got two leaves a very characteristic feature you might have seen that bohemia leaves will be like this so to depict brothers they have depicted bohemia by Linnaeus only it is given johan and gaspard so this is how this is how the naming uh, naming need not indicate any as particular aspect as such but they can indicate color name and adjective that is very important and the second half is species epithet. So this particular group epithet is should be adjective in its nature. That means it should give some peculiar names, distinct names from the others. Uh, maybe name, color, uh, 
if it is white flowers it may be alba or if it is edible it may be sativa if black color nigrum or they may be uh, from the origin from where they might have some uh, origins like americana indica bengalensis like that also but and sometimes it may be a character of plant like uh, sagittifolia like that or it may be in the name of a scientist to honor him or to dedicate his uh, plant like sahani or batiai like that so with this basic background we able to we were able to know what is actually binomial nomenclature with respect to the plants let us have some common examples so here onion this is our common onion but when it comes to the binomial nomenclature it is termed as alium sepa and this l stands for the author who described it and next tomato tomatoes by botanical nomenclature is solanum lycoparsicum again given by linnaeus and pistachio very uh, dry fruits where, where we use them as dry fruits pistachio vera again given by linnaeus and we can also see that bell peppers were capsicum annum so these are all the different examples what we are given and rosa maybe uh, rose like that there are different examples the significance of the botanical nomenclature is the it is a process of naming plants based on international rules proposed by botanists to ensure a stable and universal uniform system it overcomes the shortfalls any shortfalls arises due to the usage there may be you know, what happens during uh, in our local understanding some plants will uh, won't be having any name at all they will be generally termed as weeds or there may be generally termed as some forest products like that so those kind of uh, and some plants will have more than one name some plants will have both the plants will have same common name but they may belongs to different uh, types of plants altogether so all these uh, kind of shortfalls can be abolished due to the usage of binomial nomenclature and if at all we have to search for anything the authenticing the authenticity is e easier due to its universal acceptance so we just uh, naming some coding uh, co coding like thing and uh, uh, putting it need not be possible when we have a universal system like this and it has been adopted worldwide now well accepted system and we have to study this particular system and in next video we will be studying more about what are the rules and regulations which will guide them the naming and all other aspects in detailed manner hope my this lecture was useful to you if you like my channel like it share it and subscribe it thank you for listening